Plink Data Format Plink Data Format is a widely used file format for storing genetic data, particularly in large-scale genetic association studies. It was developed by Sean Purcell and his colleagues in 2007 and has since become a standard format for genetic data storage and analysis. The Plink data format consists of three separate files, the BED, BIM, and FAM files. The BED file contains the genotypic information for each individual, represented as binary data, while the BIM file contains information about the genetic markers being studied, including their name, chromosome location, and allele frequencies. The FAM file contains information about the individuals being studied, including their family ID, sample ID, and sex. One of the main advantages of the Plink data format is its compactness. The BED file, in particular, can store large amounts of genotypic data in a highly compressed format, making it ideal for storing and analyzing data from large-scale genetic studies. The use of binary data in the BED file also makes it faster to read and process than other file formats, such as text-based formats. Another advantage of the Plink data format is its flexibility. It can be easily converted to other file formats, such as VCF, Variant Call Format, or PED, Pedigree, Format, allowing for compatibility with a wide range of genetic analysis tools and software. It also supports a range of genetic data types, including single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, insertions and deletions, indels, and copy number variations, CNVs, making it suitable for a variety of genetic studies. In addition to its compactness and flexibility, the Plink data format also includes a range of useful tools and utilities for genetic analysis. These include tools for quality control, data filtering, and statistical analysis, as well as support for a range of genetic association tests, such as logistic regression, linear regression, and chi-squared tests. These tools make it easy for researchers to analyze and interpret genetic data, even in large-scale studies involving thousands of individuals and markers. Despite its many advantages, the Plink data format does have some limitations. For example, it can only store genotypic data, and cannot store other types of genetic data, such as gene expression or epigenetic data. It also requires some knowledge of command line interfaces and programming, which may be a barrier to entry for some researchers. In conclusion, the Plink data format is a highly useful and widely used file format for storing and analyzing genetic data. Its compactness, flexibility, and range of built-in analysis tools make it ideal for large-scale genetic studies, while its support for a wide range of genetic data types and compatibility with other file formats make it highly versatile. However, it does have some limitations, and researchers should carefully consider its suitability for their specific research needs. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to like and share our videos, and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you.